All right, first of all, and the Dragons control the tip. And the ball's knocked away. Number three up off the rebound. Tyler Wallace on the stick back bucket for the Dragons, and they lead 2 nothing. You're going to call Tyler's name a lot tonight. He's a ball player. Jeff Smallwood out front, reverses the ball. Left side, goes inside to Benninger. Benninger kicks back out to Smallwood, who kicks the three, and hits it's it. in. I tell you what, he's not going to—he's not going to make too many friends here tonight doing that. Uh, he better—he better, he better lay a little lower on that one. Well, Smallwood felt it from outside the top of the key, and he buries the tray. He's been making those since his freshman year of high school. Three-two is uh, coach. Good ball goes out of bounds. Got a little hustle there by Charles Academy. So it'll be the Fayette County coaches' ball. Tonight's teams are a combination of the school-age kids and the kids that are a little older than that. Uh, because they didn't have enough to field the older kids team. I don't know exactly what happened, but little younger kids playing tonight. There we go. Coach is with the basketball. Benninger kicks it out to Smallwood. Smallwood versus over. Smallwood shot up and good. Another three-pointer by Smallwood. I'll give the Fayette County coaches a 6-2 lead with 6.54 left here in the first quarter. Wallace brings the ball down floor for the Dragons. Kicks it over to Thomas May. May. Now back over to Adams. Adams gets a shot up, oh. misses with the stick back. Back, oh. Oh, back up and in. So the long miss turns into a long stick back bucket there. Number 33, Shannon Shadburn with the stick back bucket. 6-4. Shot goes up. And another three-pointer there. Living by the threes. The coaches are living by the threes. Well, you know what they say, live by it, die by it. Tyler uh, Rodas there, I believe, with that three-pointer. 9-4 Fayette County coaches now. Wallace with the ball out front. Kicks the ball back over to Academy. Academy back out to Wallace. Wallace thinks about the three, then kicks it back over to Adams. Adams shoots the three. A little bit off the mark, but with the rebound, battle on the loose. Oh, down yeah. the low post. And it looks like there's a battle for the loose ball, and Fayette County coaches come up with it. So it gives uh, uh, Shannon Shadburn a lot of credit. He was down there fighting and uh, just couldn't quite come up with it. That ball went out of bounds. It's going to be the possession of the coaches. But, yes, a good hustle. Two rebounds down there for that young man. Been in the right place at the right time. Yeah, we got a substitution for the Dragons. Number 13 is in now, Joe Carnute. Chris Hoppus got a photo of that. He's writing the, writing the names down right now, so you might <laughs> see that in the paper. That was a good play. So we got a stoppage of play here. We're going to take the ball out again. Looks like taking the ball out. It's going to be Derek Lyons that kicks the ball out. Now kicks it back over to Rodas. Rodas underneath. Oh, Ball's nice. taken away by Wallace. Wallace on the run on the right side. He looks like he's going to take it all the way up. Oh, misses the layup. Rebound is number five, Ison. Ison back over to Wallace. Wallace now kicks it back out top to Canute. Looks at the three. Shoots the three. Banks it in. The banks are open. And I just want to say that the smallest man on the court that time got the basketball on the rebound on that previous play. Good rotation on the bottom side there. Ball's going to go out of bounds. It's going to go back over to the Dragons. So 9-7, 5-18 to go here in the first quarter. Dragons defense got the coaches a little perplexed right now. Wallace going to bring the ball down the floor. Canute last time. Big shot. We've got another three-pointer in the air. Misses. Smallwood with the rebound for the coaches. We'll get back on the Dragons. to get back on defense. Smallwood with the ball. Kicks over left side. Shot from the wing is a little bit short. Battle for loose ball. Canute comes up with it. Looks like the Dragons want to run a little got bit. Help. They got 2-1-2. Two, two. Ball up and in off the glass. Missed. Looks like Canute with the rebound. Ball up. Off the glass again. Ball tipped around. Controlled by the Fayette County coaches. Smallwood pulls up for the long three-pointer. Misses. Ball rebound. I watch it again. The small guy on the floor. Number five, Devin Ison with the big rebound there. Gets a dribble, pulls up, a little short jumper there, and scores. Oh, coast to coast. How about Mr. Eisen? A little transition there, 9-9, nine to nine, 423 left here in the first quarter. That young man came to play. Coaches with the ball. Line steps out over the three, goes low to Benninger. Shot up and missed. No good. Canute with, for the Dragons with the rebound. He's been in the right place at the right time a couple times tonight. Yeah. Dragons want to run a little bit. Kicks it back over to Adams. Adams back over to Canute. Canute thought about the three. It takes it back over to Ison. Ison misses. Battle for the loose ball once again is Shadburn. Yeah, third rebound. Canute out to uh, Wallace. Are, Wallace with a big three-pointer will miss. Looks like rebound. the coaches are coming in in mass, Tim. <laughs> you know they're going to be sucking oxygen. Kicks back out Smallway. Pops the three. Misses. He missed everything. 
He is all iron. That's a little airball action right there. Smallwood smiling, big grin on his face. He's like, come, come and get me. Come and get me out of here, please. So the mass substitutions take place. Oh, he's staying in. As Dragons win bounds the ball. Nine to nine the score. 340 left here in the first quarter. Adams is going to bring the ball down the floor. He's going to kick it over to Hartshorn. And he's got the ball. Look out. He shoots a long three-pointer. He's going to come up just a little bit short. Rebound coaches. He kicks the ball on the wing as Jeff Smallwood. Smallwood rotates underneath. Looks like that is uh, Coach John Creamer, the AD, kicks it back out. Now goes back underneath to Coach Creamer. Creamer with the reversal. Misses. No good. Rebound Dragons. Looks like number 25, Shannon Shadburn, with the rebound for the Dragons. Shadburn is outside, top of the key. He's dribbling left. Looking for a lane. He's looking for a lane. He likes the three. Spots up. Off the glass. No good. Battle for loose ball. Coaches. Score still 9-9. Nine to nine. 251 left here in the first quarter. Smallwood again. Takes a long three-pointer. That one's in and out. Rebound. No good. Kramer in the low post. Battles for the loose ball. Then kicks it back over to Ryan Garrison, who puts the stick back bucket in. And good. 11-9 coaches, 2.35 left, first quarter. Boy, he shoots a long three-pointer there. A little parking lot. <laughs> a little bit short there. Ball's going to Ryan Garrison, kicks it down low. Then reverses back out to Smallwood, thinks about the three, then goes down low to Creamer. Creamer off the glass and in. So Smallwood thought about the three that time, and it goes low post to John Creamer. Yeah, and to see uh, uh, Josh. Good effort down there on the defensive end of it, trying to he dove for the ball, missed it, but he'll oh, he'll shoot from long range too. Yeah, coming up just a little bit short. Battle for the loose ball. Coaches are going to control. Smallwood's out top of the key. He's got two on one fast break. Goes low underneath to Mark Schwartz. Missed Misses it. the first and gets the stick back bucket in. Missed a bunny shot. How many laps you got to run for that? Uh, quite a few. I was going to say. Uncontested in the low post. Uncontested low post, and he misses from two, two, two fifth feet away. Yeah. 15 9 to score now. Coach's lead, 135 yeah. left. Long shot from the corner, just off the mark for the Dragons. Coach's rebound will clear. I'd say youth, Tim. The younger players are in there right now and not patient enough to. Oh, Eddie steals it. All right, Eddie Hartshorn, pull up jumper in the lane, off the glass, no good. Shot back up. No good. Oh, come on, Eddie. Stick back bucket up and good. Again, uh, Adams with the stick back bucket for the Dragons. 15-11, 108 left here in the first quarter. If you remember correctly, last year, Eddie scored his one and only bucket at, during in this game. Well, he's, being, uh, he's been quite the player in this one. Oh, yeah. He's... Ball goes right left side from the baseline. Benninger hits, or Garrison hits the big three-pointer. So 18-11, 50 seconds left here in the first quarter. I would say they were going to hold for the last shot, but no, they're going to shoot. Yeah. Ison brings the ball up, but kicks it back over to Adams. Adams, a long three-pointer oh. missed. A rebound for the coaches, Garrison. Garrison kicks it over to Smallwood. Smallwood likes to shoot the three. He drives Bill the lane, goes to the low post that time. Off the glass, no good. Kicks it back out to Coach Creamer. Now back over to Garrison. Garrison in the right side. Kicks it back over the top to Corey Patton. Patton back to Smallwood. Smallwood, a little runner in the lane. Shot up. Good. 20 to 11. Coaches, 10 seconds left. The Dragons going to have to hustle, get a shot off. I think they were trailing last time at the first quarter, so I'm not too worried right now. Hartshorn, a little runner in the lane there, up off the glass. Oh. No good. So that's how we're going to end the first quarter with your score. Fayette County coaches, 20. And the Dayton, or not the Dayton Dragons, the Fayette County Dragons 11. They look like the Dayton Dragons. Well, welcome. Welcome back, everyone. There we go. We can hear a little better now. Yeah, there we go. Welcome back to Washington Senior High School with the Dayton, or I keep saying when it's the Dayton, the Fayette Their County Dragons. colors are the same, yeah. Yeah. Fayette County Dragons are battling the Fayette County coaches, 20 to 13. Your score here early in the second quarter, cross court, Smallwood, thought about the three. We got a timeout on the floor. I think we got three seconds called against oh, the coaches. Somebody camping out in the lane down there. Yeah. So Fayette County Dragons with the ball. Canute back in the game. Or Wallace, I'm sorry. Wallace back in the game for the Fayette County Dragons.
shot up in the air. But we got number one in there. Harry. Oh, I don't Harry, have number, number one. one. And number 24 has got the ball now. 24 is Dakota Oyer. Dakota made a nice shot. He's going to get his own rebound. Also, we got uh, Ronnie Morris in there for the Dragons. Oyer in the low post. He measures up his shot off the glass and good. There you go. 20-15 to right 15 now as the Dragons cut into the coach's lead. 6.40 left here in the second quarter. Loose ball on the floor. Looks like the Dragons are going to come up with it. Ronnie Morris with the oh, ball. Oh, he got away. Off the hand over. Wallace is going to come up with it up and off the glass and in. Reverse layup, Tim. Reverse. I'll tell you what, he's not a bad basketball player. Dragons cut into the lead a little bit. 20 to 17. 6.20 left. That's their well, MO. They'll, twi they'll chisel away at it. Lions, long shot across the board. Wallace battles for the loose ball. Saves it, but the coach is going to control that. Back over to Smallwood. Smallwood cranks the three. Long way off. Misses. Kicks it back out. Long three-pointer again for the coach. This time it's off the glass. Wallace will clear. As the Dragons will come bring the ball down the floor. 20 to 17. 555 left here in the first half. Coach is leading. Here in the zone. Kind of Wallace is going to drive right down the yeah. middle of the lane. Breaks down two defenders. Gets a big basket. Score. That's how you break his own, isn't it? Yeah. 20 to 19 score. Tyler Rodis with the ball now for the coaches. Back out the Lions. Lions ball dribbles off his foot. I think that's going to be fake. Or yeah, it's going to be fake. Kelly Dragon basketball. Again, you're listening to Oldies 1250, Fayette County's Oldies station. And if you uh, have the opportunity to watch this game, WCHC TV3 here in Washington Courthouse. Com. First State Bank in Washington Courthouse in Hillsboro. You're at home with us. Visit them online at fsb4me.com. And in uh, Merchants National Bank in Washington Courthouse, a real community bank with real customer service. Ison with the ball now for the Dragons. Outside top of the key. Long three, short. Deuce is buried. Look at that, that, number 10, uh, Gannon Adams with another big basket. So the first time in the game now, 21-20. The Dragons lead. Loose ball tracked down by Rodas for the coaches. Kicks it back out top to Corey Patton. Patton's going to shoot the long three-pointer. Off the glass, no good. Bigger battle for loose ball, the low post. And the coaches get the, uh, the young lady for the coaches gets the stick back bucket. Number four, Cheryl Benninger. Third lead change of the game. Coach is back on top, 22-21, 4.44 left here in the first half. Long three-pointer shot again, off the glass, no good. Battle on the low post, rebound by Canute for the Dragons. Canute out front, top of the key now. Goes back over to Adams. Adams shoots a long three-pointer, misses, lines for the coaches, gets the rebound. Dragons get back on defense. Benninger couldn't quite track down the loose ball, and it's going to be a turnover on the coaches. He led her just a little too far, didn't he? Yeah, couldn't quite get to it. Ball go out of bounds. So we'll go back to the Dragons. 22-21 coaches, 4-15 left here in the first half. Shadburn with the ball, kicks it back over. Short shot in the right side by number five, Ison. Miss coaches with the rebound, Smallwood. Got the bounce pass to the Lions, a low post. I think we're going to have a foul on that one. I think they're going to call that on number 11, Charles Academy for the Fayette County. Looks like we're <laughs> the oxygen break is back in for the coaches now. Yep, the uh, the 0-2 relief coming in. We're going to call that on the floor. Tyler Rodas will inbound the ball for Fayette County. Kicks the ball out top of the key. Now back over to Kramer. Kramer goes to the low post to Rodas. Rodas, nice little kiss off the glass. No good. Rebound coaches. Back out to Kramer. Kramer in the lane. Misses. Rebound by the Dragons. So a couple cracks at it there, Harry, and nothing doing for the coaches. And coast to coast and all. Almost got it in there, but the Dragons got the rebound. Shadburn there. Now number 11, Charles Cademy with the shot. Rebound goes to the Fayette County coaches. Garrison with the ball. Goes low post to Rodas. Rodas kicks it back out for the three and nails it. So the Fayette County coaches respond with a big three-pointer. They now have a 25-21 lead. They, they picked it up a little since they lost the lead. Chuck Williamson on that last three-pointer for the coaches. Coaches come up with a big steal with a bounce pass to the low post. That kicks over to middle lane to Kramer. Kramer off the glass, short and no good. Rebound. Kramer comes up with a loose ball, stick back bucket, and it's good. 
So Kramer with the hustle and the low post for the coaches gives him a 27-21 lead. I think he walked. I think he did too. Well, you know what? Let's give it a little bit of hassle there. A low post, un un I uncontested. Think he, I, I think he walked. Yeah. I, mean, I see had, feet shuffle. Had to be some feet shuffle there. Long three-pointer by the Dragons. Misses. Little guy, the low post. Goes up, shot, stick back bucket, and score. I believe that was Devin Eisen. Is that correct? Yeah, Devin Eisen with a big basket. 27-23. He's having a game. Next oh, turnover to low post. Big steal there by number 13. Joe Canute looks like he's going to go coast to coast. Misses a shot. They're going to call a foul. That might send him to the free throw line. That yep. Sends him to the line for two. 27-23 now. 2.17 left here in the first half. While well, we have a break, we have a check presentation at halftime. Uh, the sponsors of our game tonight presenting checks to the Fayette County uh, Progressive Industries Fayette County Special Olympics. So I am going to bid my adieu from you, sir, so I can be down there for halftime. I leave it in your capable hands. That'll be fine. So 27-23, 2.17 left here in the first half. So at the free throw line is Cadu. He's going to get shoot two. He got fouled on his last trip down the floor. I think these are the first free throws that will be attempted in the game. Cadu's first shot up. No good. Oh, I guess it was, uh, I thought it was two shots. It says one and one. So stick back bucket there for the Dragons. Battle again for loose ball. Ball missed. Aaron Andrews. Aaron Bell, I'm sorry. There you go with the rebound. And finally, number 14, Thomas May with the stick back bucket for the Dragons. 27 25 now. 152 left in the first half. Rodas with the ball. Kicks it back out to Garrison. Back over to Williamson. Williamson back out top of the key to Rodas. Long three pointer. Off the rim. No good. Rebound, Creamer. Back out front to Garrett Williamson. Williamson. We're going to get called three seconds against the coaches, so a turnover. So the Dragons are going to inbounds the ball. 27-25 your score. Josh Darden, the ball handler for the Dragons. The back over to Aaron Bell. Bell is going to shoot the long three-pointer. No, it's a pass underneath. Not stolen by the coaches. It's going to go down floor now for the coaches. And it's stolen back by Aaron Bell. So good job by the Dragons. They got the numbers. They want to run. Bell's going to pull up in the lane off the glass. Oh, and good. Big shot that time by Bell. So we got a tie ball game. 27-27. 50 seconds left here in the first half. Creamer in the low post to Rodas. Back over to Garrison. Shot short. Rebound by the Dragons. Thirty-six seconds left. Eddie Harshborn with the shot up, no good. Rebound by the coaches. Looks like Williamson is going to come out and clear for the coaches. Dribbles right side, top of the key. Looks underneath. Kramer. Kramer's got a short little jumper off the good mark. No good. Rebound up and in for the coaches. Tyler Rodas with the stick back bucket. 29-27. Ten seconds left. Eddie Hartshorn is going to get the shot up off the glass. A little bit short. No good. Five seconds left here in the first half. Long shot. It's going to be just a little bit short, and that's how our first half is going to end. So Mark Schwartz with a big half-court shot to end the first half. I'll make the score 29-27 in favor of your Fayette County coaches. We're going to take a break. We'll be back here in just a couple minutes. You're listening to the WC... No, I'm sorry. It's a WCH... CTV3 and Odie's Fit County, 1250 AM. They're serving us, and we'd like to serve them back, if you understand. Help them out whenever we can. I love the hair. Number three just come in here. <laughs> there we go. Ty, <clears throat> Ty Wallace, yeah, a big hair dude just come in here. And yeah. a big basket in the lane. So that makes it 34-33 now. So the drag is cut into the coach's lead once again. Bill Dolly, thank you so much for spending some time with us this evening, and thank you for sponsoring our program tonight and coming out and supporting the youth and making this possible for us. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Tim, and thank you for broadcasting across uh, to the community so those who are not as fortunate as us being here tonight 
enjoy the game at the same time. So thank you all. All right, thank you. That's getting us Bill and Debbie Dolly with the DB Gilbert's Barbecue Sauce. And you can find that about anywhere you want to go. It's Kroger's and just to name a few places, but it is very accessible. So Harry's getting back into the saddle now. Again, I'm Tim Skaggs along with Harry Wright. You're listening to Fayette County's Oldies Station, Oldies 1250 and WCHC TV3 here in Washington Courthouse. So right now it's still a 36-35 game. we got 4.35 left here in the third quarter. Coaches with the basketball. Welcome back, Harry. Thank you very much. Hey, it's an exciting game now. Well, I've said it at halftime a little bit. Don't be, a little, don't be discouraged if the uh, Dragons are down a little bit. they got a knack for coming back. And, and the coaches have a knack of tiring out. <laughs> yeah, they do. They're, they're sucking oxygen quite a bit. So. Over there on the other side, when we had the check presentations, I was kind of hearing the uh, moans and groans of some of the coaches. 39-35, four minutes left here in the third quarter. Coaches with the rebound. Garrison's going to clean out. Going to go the ball way down the floor to Tyler Rodas. Rodas will spin move into side. Left hand up and in. It's a nice spin move inside by Rodas. 41-35 now your score. 350 in the third quarter. Dragons bring the ball down the floor. Eddie Hartshorn kicks it over to Wallace. Wallace thinks about the three. Goes inside to the low post. Shot is up and missed. 24, Dakota Oyer with the rebound. Wallace with a stick back bucket. Two bucks off the glass. Kramer with the rebound for the coaches. Clears to Rodas. Rodas is going to pull the ball up. The ball is going to be taken away by the Dragons. Nice steal there by Thomas May. May's going to go in off the glass. Misses. Wallace with the rebound. Stick back buckets. Can't get it to fall. And the hair. <laughs> he lost his hair. The hair falls off for Wallace. Wallace is outside for the three. Wallace is going to drive again up off the glass, and this time it's good. Hairless. A hairless two-pointer. <laughs> That's too funny. 41-37 now. Out to Smallwood. Smallwood thinks about the three, kicks it over to Rodas. Rodas does shoot the three from the corner. Off the iron, no good. In the low post, Bigger with the rebound. Stick back bucket, no good. Rebound, Wallace. I guess we're going to have a reach foul on Benninger that time. And she's going to make the exit she's, towards the bench. She smiles because she knows it was a ticky-tack reach foul. It's like, what was I thinking? Well, I think she was happy that that bench was close by. We're going to uh, we're going to do a little talking here. I'll give it a hair. You can do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah, sit right, right, slide right in there, and we'll yeah. pass it right across from Tim. Uh, we got a little break in the action right now. The... Uh, Dragons are now with the ball. Possession arrow is going towards the coaches. But the Dragons with the ball. And we got a guest right now with me from East Ambulance. What is your name, sir? Kevin Mitchell. Kevin, how you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm doing great. Great basketball game. What do you think of this? Isn't this some? Um, yeah, it really is. Tell us a little bit about East Ambulance and what they can offer the people in Fayette County. Well, we can offer any level, uh, ALS, BLS, kind of transport, um, we also offer wheelchair, also known as Ambulette. Yeah, those are the kind of the hard ones to find, the ones that have the Ambulance, yeah. True. I mean, you know, the, the wheelchair ones, people that don't need that full stretcher, but, you know, you've got to have the wheelchair accessible, too. And they're, they're, they're getting again. He gets his own rebound. Give me help with number 11, Tim. Number 11 is Charles Cotton. Charles. Got his own rebound, now drive down the lane, and oh, out of bounds, and it's going to go to the coaches. So um, we have a choice what ambulance service we use, don't we? Yes, everyone, anyone has a, uh, you know, their own choice as to who they use, no matter where they're at. They can, uh, they can just ask around and find out who uh, offers transportation, and of course I'm kind of biased towards East Ambulance. They're a great company to work for. That's what my next question was going to be. You know, how are they to work for you? You hear about, you know, one company better than another, but is there really a difference? There really is. I've, I've been, I've worked at uh, several different transport co companies, and I can tell you I've been here now with these for 10 years, and I would not have it any other way. Excellent, excellent. Now, will you guys be at the Community Health Fair coming up in April? Yes, we will. So if you get a chance, folks, to stop out April 30th at the Community Health Fair at Grace Community Church and check out the fine folks from East Ambulance. They, along with nine other sponsors tonight, making a $75 donation to the Fayette County Dragons. We thank you so much for being a part of our broadcast tonight. Thank you, too. All right, thank you very much, Kevin. All right, Tim, it's a... 
down to 44 seconds, a two-point lead for the coaches. One of them takes the floor. I mean, that was uh, Mr. Kramer. Yeah, he did a little trip there. It wasn't, it wasn't, no contact was made. I didn't see anything. Long three-pointer by Smallwood. 31 seconds. Dragons clears, 41-39. Coaches lead down to the low post. Academy, Academy is off the glass, oh. no good. Rebound, stick back, bucket up in, no good. Back up and in, no good. Third time's a charm, still no good. So Joe Canute was in the low post battling, just couldn't quite get the right touch off the rim. He looks a little disgusted at himself. Just a little bit. It's like, how can I miss those three? And you know what I really like about this, Harry, and we don't see this as lot, is the coaches demand something of these kids for the Fayette County for the Fayette County Dragons. The ball goes out of bounds. Do it to the referee. <laughs> he passed it to the, he looked over and saw an adult and said, here, let me have it. He passed it to the referee. You got to love that. But yeah, the coaching staff just doesn't make this. They want these kids. They want to push them. They want them to do sure. their best. And I like that, you know, that they don't give them an easy pass. Hey, how about big Josh Darden there? The big brother is going to tie it at 41-31 at the end of the third quarter. End of the third quarter. Tie score. Doesn't get any better than this, Tim. We're having service with a personal touch since 1929. Call 740-335-6081 or visit them online at parrotinsurance.com. Ralph the Tire Man at 221 South 9th Street in downtown Washington. Court 10 Office. seconds. And D.B. Yummers Barbecue Sauce. For recipe ideas, visit dbyummers.com. Here we go. And welcome back to Washington Senior High School. I'm Tim Skaggs along with Harry Wright. We're here broadcasting on 12.50 a.m. Oldies, Fayette County's Oldies, and also WCHC TV3 here in Washington Courthouse. Thank you for being a part of our program tonight. We're at the uh, Fayette County Charity Basketball Game for the Fayette County Dragons of the Fayette County MRDD. Right now, we are all locked up here at 41-41 with 7.17 to go here in the fourth quarter. And now the tie has been broke. 43-41 now, Dayton. Fayette County Dragons in the lead. That was kicked over to Lions, and the low post ball spins up off the glass. No good rebound by the Fayette County Dragons. Bring the ball down the floor, number 14, Thomas May. Up off the glass, no good. Rebound by the Dragons. Stick back bucket, no good. Shot up again, good. Number 33, Sheridan Shadburn. With a stick back bucket, I believe that's the biggest lead in the game for the Dragons. 45-41, 6.40 left here. Shot up, no good. Back, kicked it back outside to Corey Patton. Patton misses shot. Back underneath to John Kramer. Kramer with the ball in the low post. Stick back bucket in good. 45-43 now. The coaches seem to be living and dying by the air ball. They love that perimeter shot, don't they? They love that perimeter shot. Ball on the floor. Devin Ison brings the ball down the floor. Shoots the long three-pointer up. Off the rim. They got a rebound by the coaches. Derek Lyons. Looks down the floor to Williamson. Williamson pulls up three. Goes back under close to low post to Mark Schwartz. Schwartz up and in. So just like that, the four-point lead disappears. 45-45. Six minutes left. Down to the nitty-gritty now. Ison brings the ball down the floor for the Dragons. Goes right side to Adams. Adams shot up off the rim. No good. Aaron Bell battles for the rebound. Misses. Then does Shannon Shadborn with the ball. And Fed County coaches real clear. Looks like Williamson brings the ball to the floor, gets his pocket picked, shot up and off the glass, and no good. Thomas May back up once again off the rim, no good. Rebound. Ison, four dragons, and he puts the stick back bucket in. Ison's having a great night tonight. Ison has really worked hard in the low post, and that's how he makes the pay off. I'm sorry, that was Corey again in Adams, rather. Gannon Adams, the ball stolen by the dragons. Brings the ball down the floor. Shannon Shadborn has been really had his voice there. Off off the glass, no good. Rebound basket. Ison misses. Ison bounce for loose ball. Gets some separation. Back up off the glass, no good. Shadborn and a stick back bucket good. So Shannon Shadborn. And just like that, the Dragons are back up by four, 49 to 45. Williamson brings the ball down the floor. Creamer. Goes cross side to Schwartz. Schwartz thinks about the three. Kicks it back out front top of the key to Patton. Patton goes to the low post back to Kramer. Kramer all on the baseline. Shot up and good. Kramer's getting his touch a little bit. Now the Dragons are going to call timeout, Harry. Yeah, they need, they need to regroup a little bit. Got a two-point lead and the ball. I think they were happy tonight for this extravaganza. Much better than last year. Dragons bring the ball down for a long three-pointers. Good! Josh Gordon! Three-pointer! He shot that one from Rancher's Roast Beef. My 
my goodness, that thing Drew Rainer was up there so long. Wow. Coach is back down the floor, shot up, no good. So 52-47, 4-10 left. Many going to low post for the coaches, shot up, no good. Battle for the loose ball, coaches. Come up with the loose ball, kicks it back out to Smallwood. Smallwood shoots the three up, in and out, no good. Kicks it back out to Garrison. Garrison now with a long three and nails it. 52-50, 3.50 left here in the fourth quarter. <laughs> Eddie Hartshorn is going to dribble from the left side. Running three-pointer right along the lane. Shot up. No good. Down low post by uh, Knute. Knute kicks it back over. Darden. Another three-pointer. Buys it. Shannons. Oh, my God. Josh Darden buries back-to-back three-pointers. We got a ball stolen. 55 to 50. Now, Dragons with the ball. Ball back down the floor, and another big pass to Eddie Hutchard, Eddie Hutchard, 57-50 now, Dragons. Smallwood, goes left side along the baseline to Rodas, Rodas kicks back out to Garrison, Garrison back over to Williamson, Williamson back out top the key to Smallwood, Smallwood shoots a three, misses, no good, rebound Kadoot for the Dragons. Seven point lead in the ball, Tim. Gotta love that. Two minutes and 48 seconds to go in the game. Great hustle by the Dragons. Is he gonna do it again? Josh Darden spots up for the three. Ball just a little off the mark this time. Ball tapped around. Loose ball. Canute comes up with the rebound. Goes up Benninger with a block. And the coaches are gonna get the clear. Ball all the way down the floor. Tyler Rodas has the breakaway layup and scores. So we got. Timeout on the floor. This is going to be a 30 second timeout. Five, five point lead in the ball. 227 left. 57 52. You may not hear us again until fall. The SCL landscape is going to change a little bit the next couple of years, it looks yeah. like, Harry. Yeah, so is our football broadcast. Might change a little. But that Friday night post game show will still be as entertaining as ever. Wallace with the ball. Low post spin move. There he's at. 59-52, 2 10 left. Fourth quarter, Smallwood hits the big three-pointer. Just like that, 39-55. Wallace with the ball, brings the ball down the floor for the Fayette County Dragons. Wallace, spin move, top of the key. Goes low post, to dribble low to Dakota Oyer. Oyer thinks about it, then kicks it back over to uh, Charles Academy. The rebound comes out to the coaches. He's going to kick it over to Smallwood. Smallwood with the fast break. We got two on two. Smallwood goes way down low to road. His ball's tapped out of bounds. It looks like he's going to stay with the coaches. So 136 left to play in the ball game. 59 55 Dragons. A fragile four point lead. <laughs> Rodas way out for the three. Thinks about it, then takes it. Ball is short. Rebounded by Canute for the Dragons. Strong with the basketball. He's going to go. Ray will cross side. Ball's going to seal out of bounds. It was intended for Gannon Adams. So it's going to go over to the coaches. A minute 24 left. Still a too strong on that pass. Looked good. Cross tore away. Three-pointer up in the air by the Dragons. Gannon Adams, another three-pointer. Off the rim, no good. Coaches are going to come up the rebound. Get a little full-court pressure on now. Hold a Smallwood. Smallwood being pressured by Ronnie Morris. Morris taps the ball loose, and then Morris comes up with the loose ball, kicks it over to Wallace. Wallace has got the 2 on one fast break, goes up strong with first layup and in. 61, 55, 50 seconds left, and Wallace makes the steal on the other end of the floor. Kicks it over to Adams, Adams, the three-pointer, no good, rebound by Wallace. Wallace kicks it back out to Adams, Adams, another three-pointer, misses, no good. Wallace with a stick back bucket in the end. So great defense, great hustle that time by the Fayette County. Smallwood spots up for the three, hits the big three-pointer. Cuts it to five, 63-58, 20 seconds left to go. Charles County with the ball, gives it back over to Wallace. Wallace is going to be pressured in the backcourt by Garrison. Then kicks it back over to get Adams. Adams, the three-pointer off the rim, no good. Battle for loose ball. Kicks it inside, back up, and that's all you with the stick-back bucket. 
Dakota Oyer with a big stick back bucket. Was, I'm sorry, that was your channel. Charles Academy with that big stick back bucket there at the end of the game. And that's going to be your final score 65 58 to Fair County Dragons. What an amazing finish, and he wanted the crowd. I like that.